So we're now in our third week of previews and I am about to head to the Vivian Beaumont now. I just got a text from my stage manager saying that one of our cast members is out. So my track changes today. I play an extra dead soldier and four other people actually uh, modify their tracks because we have inner cast understudying. So we all jump in and help out when somebody's out, which is a very interesting part of our show. Here's Elliot on for going? Carter. On for Carter. Yeah. Well, you're doing a fantastic job. Thanks, man. You jumped in with absolutely no rehearsal. And Ian and you. And Ian and I play I play a dead soldier in one scene now. It's amazing when somebody's out how many people are affected. Like five different people have to go on. And, and Boris. And Boris. Yep. Um, Boris. You play a German now because Austin's absence. <laughs> Austin. <laughs> Ian. Oh, yes. You're on for this man now that he's on for Carter, right? That is correct. You are playing Alan and playing multiple technical tracks now that Austin is out. Lots of puppetry that I've never done before. Yes. <laughs> he's very skilled, he is. Yes, yes. Baby arrives, a gleam in her eyes, and the year turns round again. So I am headed into the Vivian Beaumont now. Austin is back in our show and we are starting the final week of previews. We have our final rehearsal today and we freeze the show and an amazing gala tonight thrown by the National Theatre. And uh, it's the really exciting time now. We, uh, we have critics coming all this week and the show is frozen which means that we no longer make any changes. And we're now looking forward to heading into our opening night which is next week. So while Joey and Topthorn are the stars of our show, I wanted to introduce you guys to some of the other puppets in our show. These are what we call the uh, mustering horses. They are partial horses and they are puppeteered by one person to add atmosphere and depth to a scene and add horses, add horses, add horses to a scene without actually having to have a three-manned horse on stage. Along with the horse puppets, we actually also have human puppets that ride the horses. So these are the soldiers that go on the backs of the mustering horses that you see over there. We also have a wounded soldier over here, and behind this wounded soldier you can see we have a puppet crow. And uh, the crows are big in our show, and we have sparrows as well that fly out over the audience. So Austin, on top of playing Carter in our show and Manfred, I understand that you also puppeteer Mud, which is a massive responsibility. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, a lot of people don't know that, uh, apart from the, the horses in War Horse, that there are uh, myriad other puppets, uh, one of which of course is, uh, is a simple piece of uh, erosion cloth that uh, two puppeteers sort of man and uh, when uh, when Tom Morris and Marion Elliott first approached me about playing a mud puppet uh, in this production of War Horse uh, on the Vivian Beaumont stage, which is a, a stage designed for epic storytelling, uh, language-based, and the central character would be played by a piece of cloth, I said, this is crazy. This is absolutely nuts. This is never going to work. Yes, I'll do it. <laughs> One minute. Ah. So now's the time to introduce you to the true star of our show, the scene stealer, the goose. And Joby, you puppeteer the goose, which chases my ass every night. Um, yeah. Uh, this, there's actually a, a little known story about War Horse. Yes. Um, is that uh, a working title was Goose of War. Mm. 
War Goose. Right, right, absolutely. Um, and I'm, I'm actually happy they went with a subtler. Yes, yes, a, a yes. Subtler uh, a choice of war horse. But he still manages to upstage us all. He does. Yes. Um, um, so tell me a bit about the goose's intention. I you know, the what's his intention is to eat. Yes. And to attack. Yes. Uh, and to get inside the home of an Oh, and to get inside the home. That's his objective. He got inside once. The backstory of the goose is that he got inside once, and it was the greatest day of his life. <laughs> and ever since then. Uh, he will <laughs> beg, borrow, or steal to get inside the house. So Seth, I see that you put all of your torn up pictures on your wall here. That's right. Building, uh, Every night I rip this uh, beautiful picture of me and Joey. Can you tell us me? Yes, yeah, yeah. of course. It's very, definitely, you can yeah. tell by the, the, the butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am very, very excited. Mm -hmm. It's our opening. Tomorrow's opening. It's our final preview tonight. I was just saying I can't believe that we've performed the show now for 32,000 people. Wow. Yes. And this is our 33rd thousand. Wow. 33rd Michelle okay. house. So that is definitely the most amount of people I have ever performed for in my life. Yes. Yeah.